Hey out there, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of Tallahassee life. I don't know if my son will mind, but I wanted to show you his really cool apartment because it's just a little loft, pretty inexpensive. But when you're here, you feel like it's just in the country, in the cabin. And um, my daughter actually lives right down the street in a nice little brick home, very quaint and totally different than this. But it's just really neat how Tallahassee has some great um, ways to live. I'm walking down a hallway here, so it's kind of plain, but I want to take you outside because this neighborhood is incredible. The houses, uh, apartments themselves, sorry about the door, is, uh, the apartments themselves are uh, from the outside, not very attractive, but this neighborhood is just so cool. I took a walk with his little pit bull mix a few minutes ago, and it took me literally about three minutes to get to the park. And I'm going to walk down there and show you how nice this is all along the way. There's a dog park that is just awesome for the dogs, and it has walking trails all around it. If you're looking for a cheap place to live in Tallahassee in a really unique setting and you don't mind um, a little more of a rural feeling because like as you can see over here the garbage cans are kind of out on the street and that doesn't look so attractive a planned community would be a little bit different but um, and some of the exteriors of the house of the apartments you can see here might not be perfect but the inside of my son's loft is really neat. Um, the bedroom's upstairs. The um, downstairs is just a kitchen and a living room area. But as you saw from the beginning, when you look out, you look at nature and you feel like you're away from the city. And um, I woke up this morning with the birds chirping. You can hear them right now. It was just so awesome. And I love my daughter's house too. Her and her roommates are just so sweet and they have a very quaint, here's a little, I'll get back to that, but here's a little um, dip right here that the dog took me down. She took me for a walk. So we have to kind of climb down this little dip. I have to be really careful. Um, but of course there's a path that you can get there too, but this is the shortest way and here we are at the dog park already. And um, so my daughter's apartment, or house actually, she rents a house with three other roommates. So theirs is very uh, shabby chic, I guess would be the word for them. Very vintage. Maybe she'll let me do a walkthrough of hers another time. They just got back from break and it was kind of a mess. So they're getting it all cleaned up again. But it's really sweet. But she has a totally different um, look and feel. And it's really interesting to see how your kids pick up things from both of you because this is so me, nature, the trails, I mean, all my off-gridders out there, you can see how this could be a lifestyle that we look forward to. But then my daughter's a little more in a residential neighborhood, sweet little brick house, very feminine. So it's just really cool when your kids grow up and you see little traces of yourself and you see how they chose to go their individual way and make a life for themselves and I've been here for a few days on my spring break and I'm really enjoying it because my daughter's just turned 21 my son's 22 almost 23 and I get to see how they really live um, I haven't actually stayed at his house yet until now and just really enjoying this peaceful beautiful setting so um, as you can see down here, there's a lake. I'm going to walk down there, and then after that, I'll probably cut this off. But there's so much more in the surrounding area. This is a big park, actually. And you probably saw how long it took me to get here just by watching the time on the video. So that's really awesome. Um, if you have any questions, I could probably get you the name of the apartment complex if you're interested because I know it's very reasonably priced if you have kids going to Tallahassee to FSU and they want something a little different. Um, my son now is on his own and able to pay for this apartment on his own where my daughter is, um, you know, rooming with three other girls. 
And that's by choice too, because my son is more of an introvert and my daughter more of an extrovert. So again, it's just really neat to see the choices they made and how they're really following their dreams and being true to themselves. So here we go down to the lake and there's a fountain out there in the middle of the lake. And I'm sure you're seeing the beauty. Maybe I'll put a mu little music here at the end. I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna walk right out here to the fountain and then I'm going to say goodbye for the for now and maybe next time I'll come back to you with my daughter's different lifestyle.